what is up guys it is epsilon gaming here and i am back with another video uh this video i'm going to be showing you guys about a new feature i added to the prison which you guys may or may not like but it's been pretty popular so what what i added and coded was a drug plugin now how this plugin works is basically there's nine different types of drugs weed cocaine etc now you could mine them or farm them or you could buy them from other people if you're a donator you could sell drugs to the server from VIP ranking up so slash warp VIP and you can sell the drugs to the server itself so you could basically run the drug monopoly if you're a donator as you get higher donor ranks the drug prices increase now this was kinda just a plug-in for fun and to make plot shops increase which it kinda is working the best or most you can sell drugs drugs for is at warp hero or you can buy the drug lord rank which sells for the same prices as hero but it's only fifty dollars opposed to two hundred dollars so we have probably four or five heroes right now and we already have three drug lords so slash warp drug lord what you get right now is you get a sugarcane farm a nether warp farm a pumpkin and a melon farm you can get wheat and cactus here also you could sell for the same price as this hero i'm going to be making a kit for it also i'm going to be making a bunch of more features um let's see so i guess i'll show you guys some drugs so what's the first one i guess it's cocaine right so let's mine some sugar cane here see what I had a little bit of an issue with is if you don't mine it itself, it'll just mine into normal sugarcane. So what I did to fix that was slash GM0. And now you put it in there and it crafts cocaine for you. And then you could punch to use it. And what did we get? We got some speed boost. Now all these effects, they're the same effects for the same drug. Well, actually, they're not. There's a few different alternatives you can get from the drug itself, but like the effects, they vary from 1 to 6 and 1 second to 30 seconds. So, if you punch with it, waiting for a good one, it'll give you some speed boost and some jump boost. It can also kill you if you overdose, or it can make you throw up your whole inventory. And I died from cocaine. So now I'm going to be showing you guys meth slash back. Let's mine some of this. And now you got 23 meth. And what did this do? Night vision and nausea. Night vision. And then if you get a good one, you can get regeneration 3, which is good for PvP. But I don't know if I'm going to block it yet in PvP. Meth, I can also kill you, I guess, slash back. Now we can get some pumpkins, which aren't anything right now, but when you craft them, you get some bath salts. So if you punch with those, you go invisible, you get some jump boost and some nausea. I don't think you can die from these, so that is good. Now let's check out our melons. Mind some of those, you don't get anything, but craft it, and you get some random pills. Now, take those. Now, there's three different effects you can get from these. And you could either throw up, you can get speed, mining fatigue, and jump boost, just to mess around. Or they could do nothing, because they're just placebos. Let's check out the weed. Punch with that. Well, weed gives you hunger and I believe that's pretty much it but there's like a one in five chance that it'll give you full health so if you ever running low and want to take a chance there you go Ow. I need to make a more efficient way to actually mine this itself but I'll do that later on once we get a few more drug lords 
I expect some of you guys from this video to come and uh, buy this drug lord because it's gonna be a pretty cool rank once it's done. I may also be adding for like ten dollars. You could buy a plot that is a complete drug farm. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet, but we will see. So it's spice. There's two different things you can do with this. You can do that and get pretty nice effects, or you can combine cocaine and spice to get LSD. So let's put that in there and that in there and get some LSD. And I'll punch with that and we call it a good trip. So it gives you regeneration resistance. You can also catch a bad one. So let me get more cactus. Let's see. Oh, see, and it gives you slowness and wither. Luckily that wasn't for too long. Flex continue drug types. Showed you that, showed you that. Shrooms, and then the ultimate drug is what's left. So I'll just show you some shrooms. So it's I, B mushroom, one. They just make you basically bug out. Not much you can do with them. And then you get the ultimate drug. I-32. Now, you can only get this drug by putting every other drug in a crafting table, and it'll give you these. Now, this drug is the best drug on the server. Want to see why? Look at my health. Look at the effects. It's just crazy. Everyone loves this drug, but it's so hard to get, but it sells for so much too, so you don't know if you want to use it or sell it. This is a very popular drug, if you can get it. You also got kit drugs, which will give you every drug, but you can only use that once a day. I'm actually going to add a kit drug lord, which will give you more and more stuff. Like more drugs and more better stuff and all that good stuff. So that's every like drug on me right now and... As you can see, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty fun plugin. Everyone seems to like it. So, what I'm going to do now is just show you Drug Lord one more time. Show you the prices in there. Warp Drug Lord and how to use the signs. And some people don't know how to use it. Um, what we do is you find the drug that you want to sell. See, that one says ultimate. So, you sell the ultimate drug. And we sold two ultimate drugs for a lot of money. Sell your bath salts. I think those are pumpkin seeds, right? I don't know why there's a name Spice. I guess I messed that up. Random pills, Spice, LSD, shrooms, weed, cocaine, and meth. Now, we just made a decent amount of money, but that's only because we're in the Drug Lord mine, which sells for a hell of a lot of money. So, I think that's good just for showing you guys drugs. It doesn't look too exciting in the video, but come on and try it out. It's actually very fun, and everyone seems to like it. Now, I'm going to show you a quick little gl glimpse of the code. I was going to make a speed code on this video, but when I started, I had so much other stuff going on, and I just couldn't get it done. So... Not only that, but when I was making a few things, I was having some errors. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll just make it and show you guys the video. It's not done yet, though. But it'll keep progressing and progressing until it's actually a very cool plugin. So if you buy the Drug Lord rank, which is a very cool plugin, you'll just, or a very cool rank, you will keep getting the new perks as they come out for drugs. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for drugs, please let me know. Or if you have any ideas for the plugin, comment below. Or if you guys don't like anything, let me know and I'll try to change that. Factions should be open fairly soon. The shop's almost done. I don't know what I have left to do. I mean, I definitely have quite a bit of work to do, but it's coming along. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm just going to show you a quick code of this video and or this plugin and that is it so let me see what is it called prison drug and why do i have an error where is there an error in here i don't know why the fuck that's a little weird 
Alright, this my eclipse is just bugging out, so don't even worry about the arrows. See, there's not anymore. So, we start at the main, and we don't have too much in here except recipes, which I'm actually going to teach you guys how to do in the next video, which I might release fairly shortly just because I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> so, you do it this way right here is because with sugar melon seeds and pumpkin seeds it already crafts pumpkin seeds sugar and melon seeds but we don't want it to do that because we want it to craft our drugs down here so basically I'd remove the default recipes for those right here and remade them down here now item stack coke is get cocaine one and then shapeless recipe which means it doesn't need a shape you could just put it wherever in the crafting table. All it is is an ingredient, one sugar cane, and that's how you make recipes. I'll make a video on that in a little bit. Um, nothing else in here, just how to make the ultimate drug right here. Commands, register events, and economy, which you guys don't really know about unless you watch other videos. I'll teach you guys how to do that later on. I'm gonna I'm going to Florida tomorrow morning again, but for three days just to visit Miami College. So when I get back from that, I'll be teaching you guys how to use economy in your plugins. I hope you guys liked the other video with the hoverable messages. I think that'd be a pretty cool feature to add in here. Let me go back to the server real quick and slash drugs. There's not much you can do, slash drug types. I don't know if I taught you guys how to make inventories, but I will teach you when I get back from Florida how to do it if I did not already. It's pretty cool. It's just the GUI. You can't take the items or anything. But now we'll go to use. So this is what happens when you use drugs. I made a quick little public void just so I didn't have to make it repeat the effect every time, even though I kind of did that anyway. So it's when you use weed, this will happen. It'll give you a random chance, which is from the randomizer up here. It'll If it equals 8, that'll happen. If it's between that and that, that'll happen. Else, that'll happen. Same with sugar. Every drug is in here. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, but I didn't really feel like it. So, after use, we go to the cell signs. Now, I don't think I taught you guys how to do this either, but look what happens when I make a sign. Instead of typing this whole annoying long ass thing, I sign one. All we have to type is slash ds. And then the price, so let's just say 10, 100,000. And then whatever drug we want, so let's just name it weed. And look what it does for you automatically. You could color the bottom one, but I didn't make it automatically do that. And now if we have wheat, it'll sell right to it. More efficient than typing out and all those colors. So that's how I did that with an on sign change or sign change event. And then how you make him sell to the sign is you do a player interact event and if it's a sign then you get the sign and then you get the lines of the sign and whatever you want to happen will, will happen down here. I'll teach you guys how to do that later on too. I don't want to make this video too long because I was just kind of showcasing the drug plugin so I'm not going to go into detail about points of this plugin. So this is when you're farming the drug itself what will happen. This will just make it drop drugs opposed to dropping the normal block and then crafting. I thought I could do it in here but I just moved it to the main so we don't even need this. And then we got the types of drugs which is here. I made them in here so I could access them from any class that I have. It's a public item, a uh, public static item stack. So basically, you can get this from any other class by using get weed, get coke stem, get cocaine, any of that, and it'll give you the same exact thing, which is much easier. And then we got the commands, which is drugs. Uh, this is just the help right here, and this is the types. So basically, inventories are very simple to do. All you have to do is create the inventory itself, and then you just set the item, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and then you just open the inventory for the player. Now you don't have to use get item stack you just do new item stack material dot whatever door but 
I'm going to keep it like this because it's pertaining to the drugs. And that is it. If you don't want them to take it from the inventory, what you do is you go to use, I believe it's in. No, it's not in use. It's in... I don't know where I put it. Cell signs. I put it in cell signs. You basically do on a inventory cook event, if the inventory name is the same as the other inventory, then it'll cancel them picking up the item. And that is it for the video, guys. If you like the plugin or have any ideas, requests, complaints, please let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions for the coding tutorial, let me know about that too. But that is it. Thank you, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.